the field kicked off very much in the 90s or so when um, uh, Peter Shore started to develop like novel algorithms and show that there were kind of cases beyond just these sort of like physics cases that you could imagine using a quantum computer for developed ideas such as quantum error correction, which made them scalable and made people more optimistic that you could actually build one of these things. And, um, and since- sorry, that's a big thing. I know quantum error correction is huge. Why is it so huge and why does it prove that we can build one of these things? Yeah, so um, quantum error correction, which is actually this uh, second thing that our Willow chip demonstrated. Okay. Um, so in the 90s, um, Peter Shore came up with this idea that said one of the very tricky things about quantum mechanics and building a quantum computer is, is that these sort of phenomena of like entanglement and superposition, they're very fragile, right? Which is why we don't experience them day to day. You have to get like very kind of careful circumstances to to get the laws of physics to really demonstrate that. People thought it was like, this, we're never going to make a big system this way. It's going to be way too fragile, right? And quantum error correction basically tells you, like, how do I really turn this into a computer? How do I make it so that even though there's going to be, like, noise and all this, like, delicateness of the underlying states, how can I protect that? And then do computations on it. 